Greetings, happy love day. I hope you're having a magical, wonderful day, regardless of whenever you're watching this. I send love to you in this moment. Thank you all for liking and subscribing and commenting and providing a wonderful feedback. We truly appreciate it. Today, I would like just to talk a little about self-awareness. I'm in the process and have been for a little bit over a year of really honing in and understanding self-awareness and actually practicing it on a daily basis. For me, I find it really beneficial in my life to practice self-awareness because I'm able to be observant with myself, be observant with my actions and my words and my thoughts and being able to figure out why I did certain things, why I thought certain things and why I said certain things and being able to reflect and quiet myself down to figure out even what the next step may be. When I'm able to figure out where I am, I'm able to figure out where I wanna go. And also self-awareness allows me to see where I've came from, to see my progress, to see the things that have changed, the things that are still the same. And with practicing, uh, practicing self-awareness is allowed me to truly understand my situations, being able to see, oh, how did I get in this uncomfortable situation? Or, wow, how did I receive such uh, achievements? How did I get here? And I think that's truly beneficial as a person living in this world that's trying to distract us all the time to be able to pause and reflect and see where we come from, where we're at, and where we want to go. Also, when we're self-aware, we're able to be observant with others. As we're transparent, while we are true to ourselves, where we're reflective with our own self, which is necessary, it also allows us to see others. It allows us not to make excuses. It doesn't have blinders. We're able to be observant in the here and now to see, oh, they said this or they did that. Of course, we're not in their mind and we can't think for them, but we can sometimes assume, oh, they might have thought that. But that comes in again about making excuses for others. We have to be present. We have to be aware about what others may be doing to themselves or what they may be doing to us so that we can set up help, uh, set up healthy boundaries or we can give more or we can say, okay, I'm doing a little bit too much. Let me step away like this. But being able to practice self-awareness, you're able to be gentle with yourself. You don't have that ego. You don't have those criticisms from others. When you practice self-awareness, when you make a mistake, which is so important to recognize and see our mistakes, we're kind and we're gentle and we're loving and we're compassionate. Our younger, innocent, uh, inner child will be loved on and appreciative of the care and the tender we're giving to ourselves while we're growing, while we're maturing, while we're observing ourselves, while we're able to make those weaknesses our strength, you know? And it's super important in this day and age because so many distractions, so many things are coming at us left and right, trying to put things on us that's not ours. You know, they force uh, a nine to five or a graveyard, graveyard shift on us to where we're taken away from us. And today, I just really encourage you to just start that process of self-awareness. And even if you are practicing self-awareness, you can go deeper. There's different levels, there's different strengths, there's different things you can learn about yourself. But most importantly, it's truly important for you to know you, that you lead you, that you trust you, and not be pulled left and right from other people and what they believe you should be doing with your life. When you practice self-awareness, you're in the driver's seat, you're in charge, and you're thriving. Peace.